Hello, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery. I'm out in the studio today on a rainy uh, Tuesday afternoon here in Charlotte. And I am working on batter bowls, little mixing bowls today. I used to make, actually I still make, small versions of these. And I liked how, how they came out. And I had somebody ask me, say, hey, can you make a larger one? So these were the kind my mother would keep by the uh, stove and mix up her salad dressings and things. But I had somebody ask about a larger one, so I thought, what the heck? But the only thing I felt like was the small one's fine for your hand, but these would be too big. So I figured I'd add a handle and it would make it nice for mixing up your eggs or your pancake mix in the morning. So I'm gonna throw one right here and uh, let you join me and watch. Get this camera turned the right direction here. Okay, so I am using a speckled brownstone for my clay that I get from high water clay in Asheville, North Carolina. And fortunately, I have a local supplier that can get it, and that's where I get it. So I really like to work this clay a little bit. And this helps me to get it to center. Push it up, push it down, and it'll it into center for me. If you can get your clay centered and keep it centered, it's going to be much easier to throw a good pot. Easier said than done, I'm sure, for some of you beginners. Okay, so there we go. I am going to open it up now. Add a little water here to make it a little easier. Go on in here. I'm not going to go all the way where I think it should be. I'm going to test it and adjust it. The, the thickness that I want on the bottom of my pot. This is one of the pots that I don't add a foot to. So I want it fairly thin, close to uh, the uh, walls of the pot. I do, uh, I do a lot of pots with, with feet, so by using the needle tool, sticking it in the, the bottom of your pot, you can see exactly how deep your, your clay is, and know this pot's going to have a foot, this pot's not going to have a foot, based on how deep that clay is, how thick that bottom layer is. That's good. I take a uh, rib and I compress the bottom. Help avoid cracking. A sponge just to wet the inside so I'm not adding a whole lot of water to the inside of this pot. And then I'm ready to pull. And I use that sponge on the outside. Help keep it wet too. I'm using that thin layer of water on the outside of that pot as my lubricant. And I'm pulling this in a little because of the shape I'm working on. And I'm always trying to keep it centered. So it'll be kind of a fat little belly, but. 
then it'll come in some. It's amazing how the shape of a pot really changes how you look at it with just some minor, minor differences. A little curve, a little angle, whatever it is. You look at one pot and think, oh wow, that pot's gorgeous. And another one is basically the same thing, but just doesn't quite have the, the correct lines to it. And I'm always struggling to find the line of the pot that I like, that, that's pleasing to the eye. And I'm a functional potter, so I, I really want my stuff to be used. So I am always thinking, what can I do to make this pot function better for what I'm designing it for? I really have struggled with my mugs to get them where I want them, that they are a truly nice functional mug okay so a little trick here you can use a credit card I found a little thicker piece of plastic drill a hole in the end cut it off so it's a little semicircle it's wonderful for feet just take that clean the clay up that you're scraping out of the bottom there And it creates that wonderful little rounded foot. Okay, from there, I use a stiff metal rib. This is not one of the flexible ones, and this is a shameless plug. I sell these in my Etsy shop, and I'll share that link with you. And I do that because I had a friend that gave me one of these and I started using them and right away I could see the advantage and how my pots started becoming thinner, more even walled pots and my work just really improved and I know a large part of that is due to these ribs. So you can see how it's just scraping that clay off the side of that pot. And by maintaining a even distance between the inside finger and the outside rib, I'm getting a real nice even pot. It also scrapes off all that slurry so the pot stands up better. So that's the basic shape I want. I'm gonna come out just a little bit more here. I'm using the red rib to smooth out the sides of the pot. set this little curve up here at the top. So that's the basic shape. And then I take a chamois, just a little piece of chamois here, and I will put that on the rim of the pot and just hold it there for a couple turns. And what that does is it pushes all the grog down into the clay, so it smooths it out, evens it out, and creates a, a real nice rim. You don't wanna have sharp pieces of clay right there. Clear out some of the water in here. One more time with the And there we 
go. Ready for its little handle. So you can see, I'm sorry, not handle, spout. So I'll just put a little spout right here. And really simple, two fingers on the outside. Let me see, get here so you can see it here. And one in the middle, and it's just like pulling it out. So two in there, one out, and I just pull that little spout out. Clean it up a little bit. Another thing I'll do too is just hold the sponge on the inside of the pot and help get it back to, to round. So there it is. Great little batter bowl. Like I showed you before, it's going to have a handle on it. I'll put that on tomorrow. Great for mixing up your breakfast pancakes or uh, scrambled eggs. cut this off and try to keep as close to the uh, the bat as possible and keep it tight so that it cuts it off evenly take my metal tool this has kind of become my tool for doing a little bit of everything I pull it off and you can see the the bottom there how that uh, tool that I used creates that nice curved edge on the bottom of that pot so there it is thanks for watching hope you can uh take that maybe learn something and give it a try in your own studio so i appreciate you watching uh if you can hit that subscribe button and you will get notified when uh when i post some more videos so thank you very much and hope everyone has a wonderful day